Wolf of Wall Street tells the real life story of Jordan Belfort. Leonardo DiCaprio plays the former stockbroker who ran a so called pump and dump operation in the 1980s. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Investing Guide. Ever since the internet was created, the biggest online trend many think they can do is teach people and make money from it. The internet is full of self made millionaires, gurus, motivational speakers, and other experts who promise to teach you everything you need to know to become wealthy overnight or how to make money by listening to their advice. Some gurus might be good, some of them might not be, but Jason Bond, Jason Kowalik, Jeffrey Bishop, and Kyle Dennis are accused of over promising and delivering misrepresentations and fraud with even the potential of jail time. Recently, the FTC filed a lawsuit in Maryland federal courts on Monday alleging that the subscription stock website Raging Bull, led by Jeff Bishop and Jason Bond, has defrauded consumers of over $137 million. Today we're going to be talking about Jason Bond and his partner's lawsuit. Make sure you stay until the end as you don't want to miss the most vital information we have to share with you on Jason Bond's lawsuit. Jason Bond is a well-known trader of small cap stocks priced between $1 to $10. He founded his educational stock trading course in 2011 and allegedly has been highly profitable since then. Jason started his path as a New York public school teacher. He didn't earn much. He claimed he was poor and lived in debt, but one day he decided to make a change. Everything started when he decided to start trading in his own time. It took him a while to get some profits, but the story he is telling sounds like he really took off like a rocket. After that, he quit his job and made his course to teach a very different kind of student, traders. Then, with Jeffrey Bishop, Bond formed a company called Raging Bull. They became bigger and started to have more and more students and clients, teaching them how to sell. First, it sounded like a good idea to teach people how to make money, to inspire them, and to help them quit the job they hate. However, judging by numerous reviews, so many people hesitate if his course is really as helpful as he states. First, it started with a criticism from both members and non-members, as fair or unfair as it may be. If he makes money on a trade, the skeptics have their doubts, and if he loses money on a trade, the haters come out in full force. But after a while, people started to complain that they've literally been robbed, and now we see the result. The lawsuit. The essence of the lawsuit. The whole scandal starts with the company called Raging Bull, which Jason Bond and his friend Jeffrey Bishop formed in 2014. The company, which describes itself as a stock market coaching company, sells online services and claims to have thousands of subscribers. The founders of this company present themselves as expert stock traders who teach customers how they can make millions, just like them. They even use the pandemic in their marketing emails, saying they found a hidden bull market in the COVID-19 pandemic. Recently, the FTC accused Raging Bull and its operators of false and unsubstantiated earnings claims misrepresentations regarding Raging Bull services, and violations of the Restore Online Shoppers Confidence Act. In its complaint, the FTC criticized against the gurus, claiming they were frauds, didn't make anywhere near the returns they would advertise, and that they were overpromising. The majority of consumers do not beat the market or make the kinds of returns advertised. Many consumers have lost substantial sums of money in the stock market following defendant's strategy or trade recommendations. Some consumers have even lost tens of thousands of dollars on just a few trades. When consumers try to cancel their subscriptions, many find they cannot do it so easily, they said. Moreover, to show their power, wealth, and efficiency, Raging Bull used celebrities including former baseball star Jose Canseco and former stockbroker Jordan Belfort to promote their services. Belfort was the inspiration for Martin Scaretti's 2013 movie The Wolf of Wall Street. To inspire as many people as possible, as for Bishop's services call him a genius trader who has made millions in the stock market. The company's website says Bond is a former gym teacher who taught himself to trade stocks and rid himself of $250,000 in debt. Sounds inspiring, right? Some people are thinking, if the teacher could get rid of $250,000 in debt and become rich, why can't I? The story makes people think everything is possible. All you need is to buy Bishop's course and you will become filthy rich. This is the example of the story which was made only to attract as many people as possible, and also get their money. There is also information that in 2017, Raging Bull paid a third party promoter to stage an event at the Harvard Faculty Club using a fake Harvard insignia. However, they emailed subscribers that Bond was invited to speak at Harvard Business School and posted videos of the speech, and of course, the school never invited him. Raging Bull's image is built around the supposed trading success of its founders, Bishop and Bond. 
they go out of their way to falsely create larger-than-life personas as highly sought-after training geniuses who are living the high life off of their training prowess," FTC lawyers wrote. The company doesn't hesitate to spend money on marketing, and one of the company's ads says, "...the company's courses are simple and practical to give amateur traders strategies that Jeff and Jason and the other professional traders on the Raging Bull team have learned over the last 20 years of trading, and teaching tens of thousands of clients across the globe to become empowered traders on their own." Through a hands-on platform of education and coaching, one of Raging Bull's most successful traders has turned $15,000 into over $10 million in profits in just five years. Get a load of that! There are hundreds of complaints from people who subscribe to this course that they can't cancel their subscriptions, that the company keeps on withdrawing payments for months and years, even after people didn't want to pay for it anymore. Many consumers have had their refund requests denied and had trouble cancelling their online services. Moreover, bank records show the company is cheating consumers, many of whom are retirees or immigrants, out of millions of dollars each month. In general, the essence of the claim is that the federal regulators have accused the company of defrauding consumers out of more than $137 million. The regulator also noted that the gurus sustained substantial and persistent losses from their own trading. Income is primarily derived from subscription fees consumers pay to Raging Bull, and not from stock and options trading. Bond has incurred substantial and persistent losses as a result of his own stock and options trading activities, they said. However, by lying to their clients, the company made a fortune for Bond and Bishop, which is the biggest scam ever. To sustain this illegal operation, defendants have poured millions of dollars each year into their deceptive marketing campaigns, filled with false earnings claims and targeting scores of new consumer victims, FTC attorneys wrote. The third person who's involved in this story is Kyle Dennis. He is a Raging Bull trading instructor. Dennis was an amazing example of a trader who found a hidden bull market during the pandemic and was able to rack up nearly 500k in profits by trading stocks related to the COVID-19 pandemic. This information was emailed to thousands of the company's subscribers. In the lawsuit, it was also mentioned the defendants claimed to have found a gold mine and were claiming to everyone that this pandemic has created more money-making opportunities than we've ever seen in over a decade, FTC lawyers wrote. And of course, it wasn't true. It was another trick to attract people's money and attention. What's next? For now, there's no information on how exactly Jason Bond and Jeffrey Bishop will be punished. The FTC is seeking an asset freeze and a permanent injunction against the company halting the alleged fraud scheme and awarding relief to consumers, including refunds and restitution. However, the result is unpredictable, and some experts have a feeling that all of them, Jason Bond and Jason Bond, Jeffrey Bishop and Kyle Dennis, are going to prison and the company will go bankrupt. The reason why this situation is so serious is because the company has been accused of very serious things, overpromising, delivering misrepresentation and fraud. At least 220 consumers have filed complaints with the FTC, State Attorney General's Office, or the Better Business Bureau, according to the FTC. Here's one of their customers' tweets. Be cautious with anyone working with and or associating with Red Bull and Jason Bond, etc. Obvious frauds for years. Hat tip, be extra careful if they are trying to sell you riches from the market. Another tweet posted a capture of Bishop and Bond in a plane. LOL, sheep funded this jet ride and picked because these two clowns have zero clue how to trade their way out of a wet paper bag. At Jeff Bishop blog, at Jason Bond picks. Neither Bishop nor Bond have been already informed of the lawsuit. However, none of them immediately responded to an email or a phone message left with the Federal Trade Commission. Both men live in New Hampshire and separately. The New Hampshire State Bureau of Securities Regulation filed a different cease and desist order against RagingBull.com LLL and its co-founder claiming the company's subscription service is fraudulent. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!